This is a short video of me doing a spring bypass on my IF25A Sprink. It's a procedure that can increase the brightness and runtime of your flashlight. And what I've got here is some heavy gauge wire. I think it's about 18, 19 gauge. It's a little bit too heavy. I'd recommend using about 20 to 22 gauge uh, wire, uh, AWG wire if you can. And what I've done, I've attached the wire to the bottom of the spring and also to the very top of the spring and um, exposed a bit of the, the wire, taken off the insulation. And um, what I'm doing is just soldering a little bit of the bottom spring in place now, just uh, warming up the spring and the wire. And uh, this just lets me kind of warm it up before I put some solder on here. I'm a bit rusty with my soldering, by the way, guys, so don't follow me exactly. Probably not doing it 100% correctly. And the whole idea here is to reduce the resistance of the spring. And if you've got a really good quality spring that's uh, made of copper beryllium, you don't really have to do this. But with some of these other springs, with uh, budget lights, you can actually improve the brightness quite considerably. And after this procedure, my IF25A actually went up by another 200 lux, I think it was. So it's quite significant. Okay, so there's the bottom bit done. What you have to do afterwards is actually get a file and just file off the excess solder so that it sits flush on the tail cap once you insert the spring back in. And use this mini, mini uh, vise here just to hold the spring and put it in place. Now I've got to solder in the top part and I've left a bit of the wire sticking out the top of the spring and uh, touching the contacts right on top. Again, just warming up, warming up the area with my soldering iron before I uh, put some solder in there. It doesn't work on all flashlights. It really just depends. You need to have a look up in the forums and um, of other people to see if it actually improves or not. There's a few factors that come into play. So here we go. Just again, I just melt a whole blob of solder on top here. Make sure that it connects well with the top. And uh, make sure once you're done with this as well that you sand that down, use a file or something to file that down. I made the mistake of not doing that and uh, that actually caused me to damage two of my Samsung 30T cells. It dented the negative terminal. So make sure you sand that top of the spring to, and the bottom of the spring so that it sits flush. No excess material hanging off. Really, really important. See me kind of fiddling around a bit trying to make sure that I've got even coverage on here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or any feedback. I'm happy to answer any of your queries. Thank you for watching.